Please don't mind a short story. Okay, again, relax. Well, that's way off. That was my mom's. Hanging on the wall. Solid wood. Nice. Screws. Wood. Wood screws. And I hit it, bumped it, cracked the glass. I was at Goodwill, and I saw this. Half price, they wanted six. And I had, you know, any white tag was $3. Worth it. This is crap. This is crap. This is the part that I'm interested to see if I can't incorporate it with this. So, let's see. Mm. It's going to work. Okay. It's going to take a minute to get around these. I'll be right back. It does have a, an adjustment in the back. To calibrate. That's good. Let's see. center it like that. This works. Let's try the orig original piece. It's going to be alright. But I think uh, I think I kind of do like that that look better. Which one do you think looks cooler? Nicer? I think you're right. This is the original. It's a tailor, uh, but this is Springfield, made in USA, believe it or not. Don't see that too often. Do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to clean it up, and then I'll come back and I'll show you, hopefully, how to adjust one of these things. And I got that all cleaned up while I've got everything out. I'm just going to go ahead and try Goo Gone. Yep, that was needed. So, here we go. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to set this thing, okay, with that little thing in the dial in the back, you know, to order a part like this, uh, it never happened. I broke it, I repaired it. There you go, Mom. Looks pretty good. As always, I hope you learned something. I did. And please subscribe. It does help. Now, don't think that I forgot, uh, but I want to show you how to set this. I went to weatherwx.com, put in my zip code, uh, and a couple of days ago when I did this one, uh, the barometric pressure was at 30. So, took a little flat blade, which this is a flat blade, and you can see that little screw in there, and I just kept fidgeting that screw around until I hit right there with this black dial at 30. Uh, right now 
and I don't want to really mess with it, but when you get on weatherwx.com, you just click on barometric pressure for your area. It'll give you a complete map of the United States. Click on your state, and then click on your town, city, whatever. And uh, it'll give you the proper pressure if it's 30. Then you'll set that little dial in the back till this black dial moves over and is over 30. Now I'm tracking the weather right now and it's 29, which is hard, to, yeah, 29.8. So this is very close. And uh, then set your golden dial over that. And once it's set, then you can watch it either drop or increase. I'm going to keep mine at 30 where I had it two days ago. So, as the pressure drops, it indicates rain. As the pressure increases, it indicates a more fair condition. So, that's how you do it.